we're hopeful that the governor might change his mind. That's what we've been generating thousands of phone calls to him today and this past week to urge him to reconsider the recommendation for clemency from the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board. People should be having doubts. And even if you believe in the death penalty, gosh, we should get it right, right? But if you can't trust government to fill potholes or tax us fairly, how are we trusting them with the power to kill? The states that I've looked at, the governors have more body counts than the killers. So when is he going to be held accountable for his killing? I had a brother that was on death row in Ohio. I've been fighting this for 30 years. He was innocent. Uh, and I had to learn a lot about the death penalty. And in finding out and fighting that innocence, I found out there were so many other different types of claims. And then I found out that there was guys that still committed murder, but yet they weren't on the death they weren't facing the death penalty. You can plea bargain, take 25 years, and you can walk away scot-free. But if you have issues in your case and you take it to court and you're found guilty, you get the death penalty. So most of your killers are plea bargaining, and people that have situations in their cases are going to court, and they're finding themselves facing death. That's not right. That's broken. I think that the biggest changes that need to happen are policy changes. I think the next generation is probably going to be much more equipped to deal with it, much more knowledgeable. I think it's important, and I think it's important to teach my kid that it's important to stand up for what we believe in. Of course, when we hear about a horrible crime, we think that person gets whatever he deserves, right? What we know now is that this system makes mistakes, and sometimes the mistake isn't about guilt or innocence, but full culpability. You know, and if you look at who's on death row, you can find dozens of others who've committed very similar crimes, but they're not on death row. So what's the difference? The biggest predictor is what county the crime was in. Killing a rural county, they can't even afford a death sentence trial, and therefore the death penalty is not even a part of the picture. That's the thing that changed my mind, was learning if we don't kill them all, then how do we pick and choose? Race, money, politics, and geography matter more than the severity of the crime.